Well, the Canadian soccer community is still absolutely buzzing after last night's Canadian Championship magic in the Lower Mainland. Tonight, we return to Vancouver Island where the skies have opened. It is cold, it is drizzly, and it is rainy. But it's not going to dampen the spirits of the brave Pacific supporters as they welcome Cavalry back to Pacific for the final match in the preliminary round. James Merriman fields a 4-3-3 today with two changes to the 11, including Kunle Dadaluk in at right back. Stephen Yates will make his first start for the club, sliding into that midfield trio with Toussaint and Aparicio. To the challengers, Cavalry, not a single change from Tommy Wilden Jr in today's starting 11 as he tries to build some rhythm and flow in the early stages of their season. So Corner played in just over the head of Klopp. That's it, it's for Bittman. Daniels gets his body in front, does his keeper a favor. Pacific, Pacific able to clear. That's a big paw by Gastoff right there. What a great save by the young man. Sean Young. Gives it off for Stefan Yates. Slips it for Dadaluk, who's going to get there first. His cross, first time looking for the captain, Hurt. Sent back in by Yates. Sits down for Daniels. Up goes Carducci. Mix it over the woodwork and out for a Pacific corner. Should add with League One BC gaining national attention last night. Callum's hometown of Nanaimo. We'll see it on to a side in 2023. Here's Bevan. Meyer Bevan! Does it once again! You cannot contain Bevan in the Canadian Championship. It is just a half opening. Long ball over the top. The Pacific defenders slide over. But it is perfect placement and a bit fortuitous as well as the Pacific center back gets crossed up and Mr. Meyer takes his shot. Three goals in last season's Canadian Championship. He gets his first in the first match tonight. Speaking of no opening, what a tough pass to get off to Mason and Moosey bombing into the box now. Bevan for Kentav. Back for Moosey. Ali Moosey wanted the glory. Takes to the sky, Bevan goes to ground. And they were quickly ripped to shreds. If there's even anything left to rip, they probably disintegrated in the rain. Here's Dadaluk. Low back for her, nearly on target. The readjustment, Jordan, from Josh. He knew it was always going to be tough to get it on target. But the one standing over what is the first free kick of the match for either side. Noah Barisio means it's Sean Young on delivery duty. It's a good looking back and go! Easton has his first in Pacific Purple. Sean Young drops it out of the sky. And when you have a player with Easton's quality there. Al Montgomery had to make a decision quickly. It's Bevan once more outside of his foot. Heavy touch and away from Moraniak. Stays with it. Shemit Show, top of the box, Kentav just wide. Fool the keeper, gave him the eyes. Sometimes it's so clever going that near post. And a keeper can... U16 provincial title with that group. Now following up, tough angle, bodies in front, not a clear look for Shemit Show, but confident enough to take. Montgomery looking for Daly. It's turned over on Garo and Hurt again. Easton on Garo tries to split a seam. And Garo gets tackled off the ball with expert precision and confidence from Dan Klopp. Easton calls his own number. But the leader Dorp Netherlands native, Dan Klopp, Salouf over the shed and didn't you? Alcon swinging a miss. Young, good hold up play. Yates, I'm trying to say, pushes guys forward. Finds Dadaluk. Dreamly Dadaluk fancies it himself into the side netting. Only off by a couple of feet. Goodlay surprised us all. Might have been. Toussaint. Decent looking ball, but it's an easy catch for Carducci. 
And ladies and gentlemen, for the first time in the preliminary round, we are heading to penalties to decide the final spot in the quarterfinals. You know how much this competition means to this club. You know how much this club means to Josh Hurd. It's a fantastic start. Shooting first for Cavalry will be Frazier Aird. Never daunted by a big moment. Emil Gazdoff tries to make himself big. Frazier is going to take about a 12 yard run at this ball. Also on his right goes low, but Gazdoff, no! It's all about the business. Took this corner perfectly. One local boy has already scored. See the supporters who have flocked to the center of attention. West End goal. Sean Young set up the goal yeah. and he scores in the shootout. Go to the keeper's height, you better make sure you strike it and you hit the corner. Sean Young did just that. A save at this point. From the middle, Gazdorf. Would send this place into a frenzy. Tridents to the quarterfinal round and set up another all BC Derby Day at Starlight Stadium. George Mukambiwa for the win! 